Thanks for coming by Miscellaneous Distillery. I'm Meg McNeil. I'm Dan McNeil. And we are the co-owners here at the Miscellaneous Distillery. Um, we are based on Main Street here in Mount Airy, Maryland. And today we wanted to give you a little bit of information about the distillery in case you haven't been in to see us yet. We'll talk about some cocktails that you can make using ingredients that you might already have at home. And then we'll talk about how you can get a free snazzy keychain key shot glass just for watching this video. So that's what's on the, the docket for today. Um, first, a little bit about us. So we opened the distillery in December of 2016 um, with our first bottles of Risky Rum. And we have released lots of other products since then. Do you want to talk through the overall lineup and what we're making these days? So we have 10 products at this point um, that you can see in there. Uh, these are uh, range from three different rums, Risky Rum, which is our white rum, uh, Dew Point Rum, which is our golden rum, and Poppy's Finest Rum, which is our barrel-aged uh, offering. And then we have a vodka and gin, which are also molasses-based, uh, which is gregarious gin and vivacious vodka. And then we have our five whiskey offerings, uh, starting with our Restless Rye Whiskey, which is our unaged rye, uh, moving into our oak-infused rye, which is called Diametric Rye, and then our barrel-aged rye, which is Gertrude's 100% rye. Uh, and then we also have a miscellaneous corn whiskey, aptly named miscellaneous corn whiskey, mm -hmm. uh, which is 100% corn. Um, and then our bourbon is Brill's Batch Bourbon Whiskey, which is a 5149. And we, um, for all those whiskeys, we use grain that's grown locally and milled on a grist mill from the 1800s. So proud to keep working with local farmers and sourcing everything fresh made by where we can. Mm -hmm. And then the molasses is coming to us from Domino in Baltimore Harbor. So again, another Maryland-based connection there. Um, so normally in our tasting room, we do tours and tastings. Um, we do those for free. We ask for a $5 donation and we pass 100% of that along to nonprofit partners. Um, we were pretty uh, lucky in that as the COVID-19 situation started out, our current nonprofit partner was Meals on Wheels of Central Maryland. And so we've continued to support them over the past couple of weeks, months now, I guess. Um, we've donated hand sanitizer. Um, and so we're able to provide that to them that they're using for their volunteers, their drivers, and at their uh, distribution points. So um, just one of the things we're, we're doing to stay in action during this challenging time. Um, we are not producing hand sanitizer for sale to the public. So really just focusing in on those nonprofit partnerships. Um, the, though we're closed now, we can't see you in our tasting room, can't host you as we normally would. Um, one thing that is different during this time is that we're allowed to deliver. So um, love that, that we're able to do that right now. And we're offering free delivery for a 30 mile radius for any order over $40. So um, you can just visit our website, miscdistillery.com, um, follow the link for the delivery and pickup options and you can find your spirits and mixers and other goodies there. Um, we're also still available in the liquor stores. So feel free to keep an eye out for us there and keep supporting those other places to shop locally. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just a little bit about what we make and what we're about. Um, Dan gave a quick lineup of the spirits. You can feel free to dive into some more details on our website um, or keep an eye out for other videos where we do a deep dive on different spirits and how they're made. Um, but really what we also wanted to talk about was a cocktail. So while your favorite bars and restaurants are closed um, and you may be still having some drinks at home, uh, maybe during a Zoom happy hour or just, you know, to take take the edge off at the end of a long day. Um, we wanted to share some ideas on how you could make delicious drinks, even if you might not have a full bar set up and, and all of the different pieces um, that you might think that you need. So um, these are a couple ideas that are inspired by an article we found in Food and Wine magazine. Um, so we can look for that article as well to find some additional details and check it out as a follow-up to, to this if needed. Um, so Dan's gonna get us started with a um, if you have at least booze and bitters, what can you do? So let's talk through an option there. So an old fashioned is one of my favorites and it's really easy to make. Most of what you're going to need, you're going to have at home. We have a, a rich simple syrup here, um, our poppy's finest rum, bitters, uh, we're using orange bitters from um, DC and Bittermint, and then you just need some citrus. 
Uh, so you'll need a, a peeler for that as well. And uh, let me get into to making this. So you're going to need uh, a little bit of ice, by which I mean kind of healthy, healthy amount so you can get that drink chilled down. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and add your two ounces of your spirit. Like I said, I'm using uh, Poppy's Finest Rum. Uh, it gives it a really great profile um, because we have that oak infusion within that. Um, we're going to use our simple syrup. Uh, what we're doing is using a rich simple syrup that uh, is made by Pat Standard. So this is uh, a Demerara sugar. Um, you can make your own simple syrup at home if you like. Uh, using just regular white table sugar, uh, boil some water, add a cup of water to a cup of white sugar, mix it up, let it chill, and uh, then you'll know, be ready with your uh, your simple syrup. If you don't have anything else, you could also use things like maple syrup or um, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, anything that's sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, so you're really just, it, yeah, you're looking to combine something sweet. So in our case, we have these simple syrups. We are coming out of the distillery. Um, but you can make your own at home or use a honey syrup, um, as Jim just described. And then a, a spirit that serves as the base, the ice. And then a recommendation of some, some bitters that help bring out other flavors there as well. Mm. If you don't have a cocktail set yet, you can use just a basic mixing glass. Um, so you want to use a glass that's a little bit larger because you're going to have all that extra ice in there. And then um, you'll use that glass to do the mixing to really get everything nice and cold. Um, and then you'll um, empty from that glass, straining out the ice to put it into the glass that you'll drink out of. Okay, so I'm going to add some more ice to the glass I'm actually drinking out of. And what did you just do with the lemon? I peeled it. Oh, you peeled it. That was peeled. And, and when peeling, start um, with good pressure, working your way back and forth towards yourself. Don't go this way. You're going to skip off and take off the top part of your knuckles. So always peel it back towards you. Pro tip there so you're keeping all your fingers intact during this time you're supposed and to. And then you twisted it. What did you, you do that for? Uh, that's to release the oils that are in the peel. Um, give it a little bit more. Um, you release the oils that are in the peel. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you can also, if you'd like, run across the rim of your glass. Uh, gives you a little bit more flavor. It's almost like um, rimming uh, a margarita. So, and we're going to go ahead and pour this in over the ice. As I said, garnish with that orange peel. Enjoy. Nice. Thanks. So that's an option if you've got booze and bitters around. Um, a next option I'll talk through is if you have jam. So um, this was an interesting idea that even if you don't have a lot of fresh fruit, fruit around right now, that our grocery trips are maybe a little bit more limited than they are normally, um, that fresh fruit could be sort of is at a premium, right? So um, the idea here is to take a jar of jam that you might have in the back of your fridge or in your pantry and to use that as an ingredient in making this next cocktail. Um, so we really are just it's looking to use about a tablespoon of jam um, and it's great because it also very you know it takes a real long time to go bad so it can stay fresh in the fridge for a long time. Um, you could use the jam with a with a, a clear spirit like a vodka or a gin or a white rum like our whiskey rum. Um, or you could maybe use a whiskey, and then for that, maybe you'd try like an orange marmalade or a berry type of jam. Those might mix nicely um, with a whiskey cocktail. Um, the, the mechanism here would really just be the how-to is, again, to use a, a cocktail shaker. Um, so I'm not going to demo it, but basically you'd be combining, you'd be holding these two, you'd be shaking. Vigorous like that. Yes, and for this one you do it nice and vigorously because you're trying to break up the jam and sort of um, uh, make it more of a liquid. So you really have to be vigorous in that shaking. 
Um, and then you'd be straining it into a rocks glass again after mixing it with the spirit. Um, you could add a, a garnish to that as well if you'd like, but of course optional on that front. Um, in addition to these ideas, so you know, booze and bitters or a, a jam and maybe a lemon um, as some ideas there. We also carry a couple of mixers that we mentioned um, here in the tasting room. And the, um, great, <laughs> we carry a couple of mixers here in the tasting room. Um, we have a few cocktail sets that are recommended on our website. So either a, what we call the Free Mount Airy, which is the Risky Rum and the Cola Syrup. So kind of a spin on a Cuba Libre. Or another favorite is the Virtuous Vodka with... Um, Vivacious Vodka. Oh my goodness. So outdated. Mm -hmm. That was a very old name. Um, the Vivacious Vodka. And um, one of the shrubs that we carry, again, these are made by other local food businesses. This one is Honeydew Jalapeno. Um, it's one of my favorites. And the shrubs are actually made from apple cider vinegar as the base, so a little unusual with that. Um, these each have recipes right on the bottles as well. Um, there's a recipe card that comes with purchase of those cocktail kits. And if you are envious of Dan's fancy mixing supplies here, um, or if you're thinking about gift giving, we do also carry a cocktail supply kit. So it comes in this nice little package. It has a muddler for citrus or other uses there. It has a citrus um, juicer, um, the bar spoon, the strainer, and then the, the two glasses that are then used together as a shaker. Um, and the jigger. And the jigger, yes. Sorry. Um, again, you can, you can improvise, you can use tools that you have on hand, but just mentioning that we do carry those if you're feeling ambitious. Um, so I did mention a free gift, so a little detail there. Uh, basically, anybody who is placing an order for delivery, um, just mention, I'd like a free flask, please, um, in your delivery comments, and we'll be, ensure, we'll be sure to include that. And as a reminder, any order that's over uh, $40 and within a 30-mile radius is eligible for that free delivery. So to meet that, 30, that $40, rather, you could get a, uh, a little three-pack of our spirits and a locally made soap from Single Barrel Soaps right here in Mount Airy. Um, or you could get one of those cocktail sets, um, a bottle of gin, so lots of different options um, of what's available for those delivery places there. So um, that's all from us today. Thanks so much for coming to visit. And um, keep, please check out our website for more information about our spirits, about what we're up to, um, and to place an order for delivery. Happy cocktailing. <laughs>